What's up, everybody? Welcome to Metal Remains Backstage. I am Carlos from New York City, and today joining me is Laura Goldemon from Burning Witches. Yeah. Thank you for your time today. As we know, you're probably getting ready to travel to Florida. Uh, We will talk about that soon. But first, tell us, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm happy I'm uh, I'm going to Florida indeed because, uh, yeah, finally, nice weather. And uh, finally, shows also. Yes, looking forward. (laughs) Yeah, awesome. Awesome. In Metal Remains, we are always in the lookout for new music. So please... Uh, share with us what have you been listening lately i uh, i just checked out a new album of striper uh oh, cool. yeah so it was it was i think released last year somewhere in the second half of the year i finally got got uh uh yeah i actually learned that there was a new album and uh yeah i like it it's cool yeah did you like did it make your expectations yeah i like that it's a bit more old school again i mean i had a few softer albums I, I as far as i remember yeah but yeah I, I didn't listen to them a lot lately so i'm wondering which one but anyway yeah i like it it's cool yeah <laughs> okay lots cool. of uh, <laughs> lots of uh, yeah and stuff yeah uh, nice. all right cool <laughs> yeah. nice retaking what we mentioned in at the beginning uh burning witches will embark on the Monsters of Rock cruise, sailing mm-hmm. from from florida to the caribbean how excited are you about this yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I think it will be fun because you know it. It. it to be honest, I'm um, here in the Netherlands and in Switzerland also a bit. You know, the, the spring doesn't really want to break through, so okay. let alone summer. <laughs> yeah, right. we can use some. We can use some sun, and also, um, yeah, really cool bands are playing, and and we have to do two shows, but the rest of the time we're basically just enjoying the time there, right? So it's a little holiday and. Uh, and then awesome. a little performance, so it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> what better place to be than Florida in the Caribbean? That's for yeah. sure. Uh-huh. And I hope I hope you melt all those faces when you are playing that show in yeah. front of them. <laughs> yeah. Laura, you joined it with the witches around 2019, if I am not mistaken, and mm-hmm. and released Dance with the Devil the next year in 2020 with you on vocals. In 2021. The Witch of the North was released. Mm. And despite the madness going on with COVID and uh, everything that happens during those infamous times, how satisfied are you with those two records? Yeah, it's 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 good. I'm I'm happy with all the records we made. Um every time it's you know it's fun to work on the songs and to see what uh, what what, you, what you, we come up with. Were you able yeah. to promote it enough? both of them ah yeah that was uh oh my tea has arrived <laughs> oh yeah. that's a nice dinosaur it's, uh, it's uh, extinct yeah yeah, Look, yeah I, I know face on it. no that's a stegosaurus <laughs> I, and i have this oh that's better yeah cool cool <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so that that was a bit weird right because we only like we had so many shows plans and every time it got postponed and yeah. with dance with the devil we could do just a few shows actually and then with uh with the, the witch of the north finally we could do more shows mm-hmm. so in terms of playing shows i feel that uh dance with the devil could have had a bit more attention you know what i mean but yeah right okay and that take us to the upcoming offering the dark tower set yes. to be released through napalm records on may 5th Thank you to Napal because we have the promo, so we already listened to it. And it's an album that feels heavier and darker. And your voice is also stronger and more haunting than ever. Uh, when we were listening to the album with Manuel, uh, we say, what kind of witchcraft is this? And we love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really wanted something uh, heavier. And in the studio, they also uh, said, "Nah, just a bit more, a bit more." And at the end, it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty heavy. So, <laughs> how different? How different was the writing and recording process of this album with previous works? Um, 
we decided we wanted it, it a bit more heavy and a bit darker, I guess. So, yeah, you can hear it, I think, and especially you can already see it on the, on the album cover, right? So the Dark Tower. And, yeah. and we wrote everything around the theme of Countess Battery. So the first serial killer ever, she would torture the, her maiden servants. Right. And, uh, yeah, until they died. So mm -hmm. right. <laughs> it's all right. the stories around it a bit. And, and all of the, yeah, the music fits the, the, the dark vibe mostly. Um, it's it's a slightly heavier than the last album. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's outstanding. Uh, you can tell the final product is it's great and um that led me to ask is there any song in the new record that has any special meaning to you um well most of them are really uh really related to to uh countess battery there's one song that it is the ballad and it it is a little bit related to the story as in you know the story made me contemplate like how do you get like this person counts battery like are you just crazy in the head or is it something that you you know that happened when you were a child or something i don't know i yeah, mean it's yeah. a pretty crazy thing right so um and this song is actually uh about a friend who i think since since a long time has a has a hard time and he just doesn't feel like he he fits in mm -hmm. in society in general and that's what the song is about like his struggles and and it's a pretty serious struggles but uh, he's holding on. But I sometimes I'm a bit worried, you know. So that's that's what the song is about. <laughs> yeah, I think we're in the metal community. At some point during your young years, uh, you feel like you don't fit uh, yeah. because you listen to music that your most of your friends don't listen to. You are trying to dress differently to other people. So yeah. yeah, that makes you feel like you don't fit. But then you find the metal community, you start going to shows and then the whole story is all different and all, yeah. almost yeah. it has a happy ending. Yeah, almost, yes. almost all the almost. time. Almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Courtney Cox is currently replacing Larissa because she is out on maternity leave and congratulations to her on that. Um, yeah. And we noticed the solo section on the single Unleash the Beast is different between the studio and the video version, uh, whose idea was to let Kearney shine with such wicked guitar work. Yeah, yeah, it was it was just a question of how how are we going to do it because you know Larissa couldn't go on the shows either because of the the pregnancy with with flights etc. So uh, we thought it was just easier or more fun also for Courtney. You know, and more more fun, I think, also for the people that would go to the concerts and so they know what to expect, right? So, yeah, Romana was just, just thinking about this a lot. And in the end, uh, uh, yeah, she uh, had this, this solution. <laughs> Great. As we mentioned before, Laura, your voice keeps getting better and better on every album. What is your secret? Ooh, I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering myself. I mean, I do... You know, always practice, and I, I sometimes do covers, and I think it kind of helps to discover new things because when you do a cover, at least I automatically copy a bit of what I'm hearing, and I think this is a, a big part of why why I'm still developing my voice a bit is because I also try to you know learn from uh, other singers basically. Do you have a vocal coach or something like that? No. <laughs> okay. No. Sometimes I, I maybe I think I should maybe want to, or, or maybe for a few times. There's like this this one thing I'm not so good at, and that's because it always tenses up. So I kind of know why it doesn't work. I'm a vocal coach myself, but I I can't get it to fully relax unless I do a lot of trouble. And maybe it's just me being lazy in that aspect because there's this fry screen for people that know what it is. Yeah. And. I'm going to try now and sometimes it, it work doesn't work sometimes it works so let's try ah, yeah like that a bit but it could be uh -huh. a little bit better but like that and uh -huh. and to be honest i don't i wouldn't really use it a lot right in in uh okay. in, in music to be honest but there are little things little parts where i use it so yeah that's the only thing to be honest i would really want focal coaching for because the rest i think is is fine you know i'm happy with what what oh, i yeah. can do but 
yeah it it does it of course i develop more you know because it's it's just it's also experience and mm-hmm. maybe because i did so many shows my voice got a bit more more strong or i don't know maybe those two things you know or maybe those three things also that i'm teaching probably also helps i right, don't know right. it's just uh, a natural process of uh, yeah 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 i guess is the natural rule of okay. the more you practice the better yeah. it gets yeah. So congratulations on that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And in the studio, they told me, oh, I'm more louder, more raw. And I was like, okay, let's try, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Once the record is out, there will be some release party events on different countries. Uh, the van goes on tour through Europe. And then in December, you guys are going to a show in Mexico at the Life After Death Horror Festival. Uh, yeah. Are there any plans to continue touring Latin America after that, or maybe coming back to the U.S.? Um, yes, there are plans in the making, but nothing is really like set in stone yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we will try to go to the West Coast, and we will try to uh, hopefully do some some Amer- Latin American shows. We'll see if it's possible, indeed, if we're there already, and to U.K., because from all the shows that got cancelled, so right. many shows got cancelled from the UK during this COVID period, indeed. So it would be cool oh, and so. that it couldn't be replanned. So I hope that we also have some more, yeah. And, right, uh, so you have people yeah. waiting there for you yeah, to yeah, arrive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Laura, to finish things up, can you share with us your favorite backstage moment? Oh, my favorite backstage moment. Uh, when you were on tour with uh, the Iron Maidens and the Iron Maidens, they have also an eddy, you know, and usually the crew gets into the eddy, they go on stage. Uh, it was super funny because uh, we didn't tell them. And uh, the last uh, show that, that they had, Lala went into the eddy. And, uh, really? and yeah, yeah, and she, she does funny dances and stuff. So she went on stage uh, with, with the eddy. But uh, I thought it was cool. I thought it was a fun moment. <laughs> Right, cool. If you like this interview, please share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to buy and stream The Dark Tower coming out on May 5th to support Burning Witches. And make sure, make sure you catch them on the road when they come to your city and they will burn you alive. Yeah. But until then, stay metal. Stay metal. I actually remember one thing now. We had a crazy backstage in Latin America. I forgot the exact stage. I think it was in Brazil somewhere, as far as I can remember. Of course, Latin America, yes. <laughs> and they had the most amazing toilet. There was no door. There was also like a little ventilator hole that you could see through into the backstage. I wonder if that could actually also see into the toilet room. <laughs> so it was a bit awkward, you know. It was a bit awkward. Yeah. There was-